What if in one video, choose your dish, shop your dish, prep your dish, and then cook your dish? Okay, let's do that. I'm at the Japanese grocery store again, Wajimaya, because that's where I basically live. I love it here. So maybe it could be sort of Japanese influenced. So I'm thinking a flan, because I want something sweet today. So maybe something like a flan. Condensed milk, condensed milk, where is that? Oh, they moved it. They moved it, they moved it, okay. So first, of course, with any flan making, it's gotta have some good sweetened condensed milk. And yes, you can make sweetened condensed milk yourself, but come on, what's the point in that? It already takes forever to make flan. Why are you gonna condense your own milk? So this brand right here, what's it called? I just know it by the way it looks. Longevity brand, sweetened condensed milk. I just know this because all of my Vietnamese friends use this, especially for something called cafe chung. And cafe chung, if you don't know what that is, it's a Vietnamese egg coffee. You take egg yolks, you fluff it up with this, and that goes on top of the coffee, whether it's hot or cold. And I've done a video on that in the past. Um, but this just is the one I usually get. If I don't get this, it's always gonna be Borden, which they don't have here. So yeah, longevity brand, that's what I'm getting and then evaporated milk. I don't know if I've shown you guys this before, but Wajimaya is the only store that I buy my eggs at. And once again, I don't remember the name of these eggs at all. How's it going, brother? Good, good. Just doing a video on a flan today. Yeah, I'm gonna do like a, maybe a tea flan or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, what's that on your shoulder there? It's uh, my sanity piece, a little bum box pager. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, just some little control the, control the vibe when it gets a little too auto tuning I just uh, throw some like city pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it groovy. What kind of flan do you like? Do you just like regular? Yeah. I mean, I come from like Southern California, man, so flan is like definitely an exquisite thing, but some people always fuck it up, you know? Yeah, I know. They curdle it or they cook it too far and it's like scrambled eggs. Mm hmm. It's low and slow, that's the way. These eggs are the move for the flan. They have the mm -hmm. most orange yolk. Oh yeah. It's the only eggs I buy. I don't even remember the name ever, but I only come here for my eggs. Yeah, I just know the, I just know the logo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, these are great. Now, you saying that right there? I think the coffee. Coffee, right? I mean, play around with it, but the coffee, I just had coffee last night after dinner. I mean, it's one of those things where, I did like the Irish coffee, because I wanted like a dessert coffee. Yeah. So a coffee flan might be like, that might be the fucking move. Hell yeah, all right. Good seeing you. Go with a coffee flan. So I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so here's, here's my thought process on this. I've got all this stuff for flan already. I've got, it, it's so simple. It's just eggs, condensed milk. But I think maybe I switch this out for the evaporated milk and I've got myself a coffee flan. But I could just brew my own coffee at home and it'll probably be way better. So maybe I should think a little bit out of the box here. I'm just gonna kind of scroll around until I get inspired. That's typically what I do when I'm thinking about my videos at a grocery store. I'll sort of just like scroll around until I get inspired. Um, and also your guys' comments inspire me, so keep those going because this is obviously what inspired today's video. All right, so the inspo just hit right now and I'm thinking puffed barley. So I'm in the grain section I think puff barley might be the move. Okay, so check this out. Very out there, but simple. This is gonna add some more depth to it. So this is a pearl barley versus, if you guys just wanna like recreate this, pearl barley versus what they call a pressed barley. So as you can tell, that looks more like an oatmeal, like it's pressed and flat. This one is obviously not pressed and it's what do you call it? Pearl barley. Um, so this I'm gonna toast off and that's gonna add more depth and flavor to the flan. And then I also am probably going to save some and puff it as well. Going to be filming another video today. Um, it's gonna be based on uh, enchiladas or tacos, one or the other. I had a dream about enchiladas suizas, which is something my aunt used to make. She still makes it, but I, I don't live back there anymore. Anyways, um, they're so fucking good. It's just like a green enchilada, but I want to do it with oxtails. And then I'm probably going to turn them into like a little quesadilla kind of thing. 
So yeah, oxtails are, I don't know if they're underrated anymore because oxtails are so expensive now. I feel like oxtails at some point used to be underrated. Price, look, just check it out. This is $31, $31 now. I think they used to be cheap. Good, how are you? Do you need any bags? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if I've shared this with you guys, but um, these little things you can get at like Walmart or Target. Um, I don't know what the fuck they call them, like no, non-slip mats or drawer mats. It's like a dollar and you can like cut them to your shape. Instead of having to do a towel underneath, I just do this under my boards. It not only protects it from slipping, but it protects the board from warping because these wood boards, they can warp really easy. Um, over here, check this out. Um, this just hardened up because I let it dry. This is uh, hazelnut simple syrup with hazelnuts. We're gonna candy them for the flan. I just changed my fucking mind on what to do with the flan. Instead of doing the puff barley today, I'll do that in another video. I wanna do this stuff. Cause it's citrus season and I've been really addicted to these sumos right now. Uh, these are sumo mandarins. So what I'm gonna do is um, just get the zest off of that. And shoot, maybe I'll just do like citrus segments on top of it too with the candied hazelnut. Um, this one is one that I don't use too often. You just make a simple syrup, sugar, water, and then you, you just dissolve the sugar and then you add in your nuts. Now these are hazelnuts with the skin on still. I added them in and I cooked them until it began, until it began to get all syrupy like this right here and the syrup starts to stick to my nuts. Now, the other way is a way I've shown before in the past where it's just um, powdered sugar with the nuts that have been boiled off and then you fry them. These are just gonna go into the oven. So check that out. See, that's all sticking to the nuts. I'm just gonna let that go a little while longer. And then I'm gonna save this syrup for the flan. So it's gonna be like a hazelnut with orange essence and vanilla pod flan. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Look, check that, smell that. That's expensive. <laughs> I know, uh, if you don't have vanilla pods, I understand because they're expensive. I don't even buy these things. Uh, just do like vanilla paste. But you can really stretch these by making simple syrups with them. That smells really fucking good. And then, come over here. I know I have a silk pad somewhere, I just don't feel like looking for it. Ah, fuck it. Okay, so <clears throat> if you don't have a silk pad, that's okay. Nuts go on to some parchment. This is waxed parchment, by the way. Don't mind the crystals. Then that's just gonna get tossed into the oven. That's uh, 350, I should probably raise that, like maybe 400. Let's do convection roast, 400, fast preheat, enter, let's go. Okay, and then here's my vanilla. Just a little scrapey scrape. That's gonna go in there. Fuck it, just put the whole pot in too. And then I'm gonna just let that steep. So I have this vanilla hazelnut simple syrup. This is gonna be a really nice addition to it. This citrus, I love this citrus so much. Um, but yeah, you could just do regular orange if you want. Um, this is gonna be, uh, this is inspired by one of my favorite coffees. They call it a Nico. Um, I don't know if it's just in Seattle, but there's a coffee shop here in Seattle called um, Espresso Vivace. And at Espresso Vivace, they have a Nico. What it is is orange essence to finish, hazelnut simple syrup with vanilla, cinnamon, I think that's it. And it's like in a little latte situation. So this is what I'm gonna do. Check it out. 
orange zest can go in there. Then I'll do some of that simple. So we're just gonna pour a little shot of espresso. So it's just gonna be like a latte flan. So it's gonna go in before I start baking it off. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know if it's gonna be really coffee flavored. I hope so. I think it should be like a latte because I'm not gonna be doing that much milk in it. All right, so this is just a double shot. If you don't have an espresso machine, just do instant coffee. Honestly, even when baking or doing shit like this, people just say use instant coffee because you get more of that coffee flavor, but whatever. I wanna use this doing that. And then, um, I've never made this before. <laughs> This is that longevity brand stuff I was telling you about at the store. Is this the same condensed milk you used for the, uh, that one latte? The Cafe Chung. Yeah. Yeah, actually I mentioned that when I was at the store to them. I use this for the Cafe Chung because that's what um, my friend Yen Vi showed me. Uh, she's a Vietnamese, uh, coffee shop owner and she also has a, a pho spot but yeah that's what they typically use okay so that's the evaporated milk and then the condensed milk and then look at this tiny spatula that i got it's so dope that goes in this already looks like it would just be a really good coffee drink honestly you could probably just drink this straight up just condensed milk with espresso, hazelnut, vanilla, orange, like, okay. I'm gonna put that in the can so I can get the rest of that sweet and condensed milk out. There we go. So that, that would be just a fucking bomb to drink to drink before work, right? I would. Okay. Now, typically, here's the fucking ratio. Here's the Mexican ratio right here. I can tell you from experience, like every Mexican I know has done this. Um, it's three eggs to that that you just saw, the condensed milk and evaporated milk. So it's always three eggs to that. Um, now I have typically been doing two eggs lately because I think it's a little uh, lighter. So to each their own, try it out. I'm doing two eggs, but typically it's three. So. Put that back down at 350. Oh, look at that, right before the timer. Um, now we just gotta let these air bubbles sort of chill out for a bit. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make the candy, the candy top for the flan. So I'm just gonna do some of my simple syrup and I'm gonna take this all the way. I'm gonna like almost burn it. Right here, check this out. This goes really quick, so you gotta be very fast. Um, you could do this with sugar and water or just like a nice simple syrup like that. And now this is gonna be a little nicer because I flavored this. This is hazelnut, vanilla. Boom. Why I'm doing this with a spoon is because it won't splash. If I put spoon like right under that stream, it's not gonna give me any splashy splashes. Da, 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 da. I mean, this looks like a latte to me, right? <laughs> okay. We have to take an account for some of that rise. It's going to rise a little bit. 
Flan, like any sort of custard, um, you put it in a water bath. And the reason for that is it helps to control the temperature. That custard is gonna be maintained at that temperature and it's not gonna overcook and it's not gonna curdle, it's not gonna scramble. So this is what I do. That's, that's all, put it in the water bath, toss in the oven, oven's at 350, close her up, set a timer for about 30 minute timer and 30 minutes, counting down. I'm gonna check the temperature. If you don't have a thermometer, I'll tell you in a while, but what I'm gonna do is check the temperature till it reaches 176 degrees Fahrenheit because that's when the custard sets and we can cut for now. All right, here's how you can check your flan without a thermometer. Just use a little toothpick. This is how my grandma taught me. Use a toothpick, stick it in, pull it out, and if nothing's sticking, then you're pretty much good. Okay, we just let this go for a while longer, and it's, it's reached the temp that I want it to be at. Oh. So now is the part where I just have to let it set in the fridge. So I'm just gonna like take this out. Check this out. So if I put this in the hole, we're already above 176, we're at 180. Ugh. Oh my God. This is not the fun part. We have to like fucking take shit out of the fridge and figure it out. Oh, all right. Look at all these pressed juices. Flan will go in. All right, I will see you later. Okay, the flan, it looks like it's pretty set. I'm just rushing it because I wanna, I wanna eat it now. Um, it's not like been cooled down for hours or anything. It's been like, what, 45 minutes maybe? Um, here. Can someone comment down below if they get their flan out clean without using a knife? Because I've always used a knife, and I'm curious if you do without. All right, moment of truth. Now we wait for the drop. Any no. last words? <laughs> Please don't fuck up. It should, it should drop though, it feels warm. Unless I torch it. Can you do both? Is that possible? Yeah. All right, Kenji's gonna try to film with, <laughs> with two cameras. I already started it for you. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. Beautiful. That is a um, Satsuma. Shit, why am I saying that? Sumo. <laughs> <laughs> That is a sumo orange hazelnut flan. God, it smells so good. Got some candied hazelnuts here. Could probably crush them up with a touch. Looks like a pretty clean flan. Okay, so I'm gonna let this fully chill before I get a nicer one, but you get the point for now. Some candied hazelnuts. That looks so good. There's like not one bubble in sight. Hmm. That does taste like a latte. You wanna try that out? What do you Thank think? You. With the hazelnuts, it's kind of like a candy bar. Yeah, that is good. That is like a candy bar. It almost like has the texture of, um, oh man, 
Like a Snickers, like the Christmas yeah, yeah, yeah. Snickers, yeah. Yeah. That's super good. I'm just gonna put all the hazelnuts on here, fuck it. Smoke them while you got them, right? That's what they say. 